Good morning and welcome to Chalton House. My name is Wendy and I'm one of the volunteers who come here once a week and I usually sit in a corner and make lace. Um, often people ask me about my costumes which I make to wear at the house and during lockdown I uh, produced a new dress and a new bonnet. I wanted something to decorate the bonnet but only had scraps of fabric so went back to using uh, an old fashioned idea of a little fabric flower. They were admired when I came back so I thought I would show you how to make them. Made one on the little reticule that goes with the bonnet for my new outfit. So um, luckily I still had some fabric from this dress so was able to make my old bonnet jazzed up a bit for the new season. So first of all you'll need to cut yourself a paper pattern of a circle. I used a drinks coaster, I think that was about the right size for me and you need to cut out five or six petals from this sort of size. If you cut a smaller circle and have two of those we will use those later to finish off the flower. They, they can be in contrasting colours if you wish. Now you don't want to see me cutting these shapes out, but here they are, and then each one needs to be folded in half and folded in half again. Now I have ready pressed these, they always look a little bit crisper if you can just press them under an iron. So here we are, and then with a needle and thread, hopefully you've got some thread that will match your come out easily there we are and uh, put a knot in the edge of the thread and we're just going to do not a lot of sewing a simple stab stitch I always have them facing the same way so the little folds to the right and just about a couple of centimeters up from the bottom of the fabric I'm going to hide a knot inside and then proceed to make about five stab stitches along the bottom, all about two millimetres in from the edge of the fabric. And I usually like four or five fairly even stitches along the bottom. When that's done, you pull the thread lightly to gather the little circle, quarter circle, into a little petal shape, as so. Having done one, you go on to the next one, and so on, so that they were all joined together to form a little circle of petals. Now at this point you've got to play with it a little bit, gather them up, make sure you like the way the petals are folded because there's no changing them later and then we'll carry on with the third. I'm always a little undecided at the start whether I would like five or six petals. I think you have to play with a piece of fabric first just to see how stiff it is and how it will look once it's gathered. Not too easy to judge to start with. But you see how it's forming those little flower petals. And in case you're getting bored, here's one I made earlier. This is from a slightly darker fabric and I thought six petals looked about right for me. So then I'm pulling it in a little tighter and finishing it by binding the last petal to the first with a few little stitches that won't be seen. It needs to pull quite closely together at the middle. It's going to form a little hole which we've got to cover up to finish the flower of course. So just a couple of stitches to secure it. And this is probably the time when I needed a thimble. And now unthreaded my needle. There we are. So we're 
you'll secure that in. And this is the point, if you're not happy with the gathers on some of the petals, just keep going until you're happy they're sitting properly. There we are, a little bit loose there. So another little stitch. And pull it in. Now, you were wondering perhaps what we were going to do with those smaller circles. And I'm going to just run a stitch around the edge of them, a couple of centimetres from the edge. So all around. this point, although I chose this rather luscious red silk, I'm wishing I'd chosen a cotton fabric that didn't fray quite so much, but needs must, and it's hopefully going to look very pretty when I've finished. I think I know someone who has a dress with very similar fabric. Of course, in Regency times, Needlework was a very worthwhile way of spending your time on a dull day. Perhaps you couldn't go out for a walk and uh, your needlework skills would have been practiced from a young girl and probably much better than mine. So the two smaller circles are going to make these little round shapes. Here's one I've made earlier and I'm going to secure this one to the back of my flower a little later and the one for the front I'm going to use the contrasting red here is going to be pulled into a little shape to make the center of the flower I find this easier with a button so any button from your button box will do and you can if you like put a little bit of wadding inside to make it a little bit uh, rounded and softer so we'll put that inside the little gathered up circle, pull it together and you can secure it with a couple of stitches here. This is the time when you can just have a look, make sure you like it and we hope this is going to hide all of those raw ends in the middle of your flower. This is what it'll look like and you can put a stitch or two just to hold that in place. It's all going to be covered up at the back. Of course in modern times if perhaps your needlework skills aren't up to Georgian English standards you could always glue that in place and then the little cover, the little flat, smaller circle we made, can be sewn on at the back of the little flower to hold it all together. Again, you could glue it if you wish, or just sew around to secure it. I've experimented with some Christmas fabrics here because I thought this is something that I could perhaps um, use to decorate my Christmas gifts. So here we have one with Christmas fabric and I've just lined the outside of the petal with some beads, just to, an extra bit of decoration and this is how I'm going to use them. Another idea is you can decorate the middle of the flower with a little piece of lace, decoration, bead, well, whatever you can think of. But I do hope you enjoy making some fabric flowers maybe to decorate your Regency outfit or as a Christmas gift or decoration. And I hope to see you again very soon, perhaps at Chalton. Bye bye.